Hello everyone and welcome to your guide to popular builds in Heroes of the Storm. My name is Serene Death, and today we'll be checking out Malfurion's support build. But before we get into any of that, a quick disclaimer. These guides are not written in stone. They are here to point you in the right direction, but ultimately they are a tool to help you learn the hero on your own. Now we've gotten through that, let's take a look at Malfurion. He is a ranged support from the Warcraft universe, and when he isn't taking a nap in the Emerald Dream, constantly hitting his snooze button, he's using the wilds of the Nexus to keep his allies alive and keep his enemies locked down. His kit gives him great sustained healing and allows him to root enemies in place, helping his allies follow up with damage. Before we get into his talent build, let's take a look at his skills. His trait is called Innervate. This is a 30 second cooldown targeted ability that grants an allied hero 20% of their maximum mana over 5 seconds. While he can't use this on himself, this will allow him to keep his allies blue bar fuller for longer, helping them pump out more damage in team fights. His Q is called Regrowth. This is a 7 second cooldown targeted ability that heals an ally for a moderate amount of health instantly, then heals them for a large amount over 10 seconds. This is a great heal when dealing with sustained damage, but don't expect the initial heal to help against burst. Malfurion's W is called Moonfire. This is a 3 second cooldown AoE skill shot that deals light damage to enemies within the targeted area and reveals them for 2 seconds. This is a solid short cooldown poke that has a decent range. Just don't expect to top the charts with it, and don't get yourself out of position trying to hit with it. His E is called Entangling Roots. This is a 10 second cooldown AoE skill shot that roots enemies within the area for 1.5 seconds, dealing light damage over the duration. The affected area grows over 3 seconds. What that means is that the root area will start from the center and grow outward. However, there is a slight delay for the initial root, so don't expect to root enemies in place by hitting them directly with the ability. That said, this is still a fantastic area denial tool, and you can get some great follow-up CC if you time your ability correctly. Now that we've covered his basic abilities, let's take a look at his heroics. His first heroic is called Tranquility. This is a 100 second cooldown AoE ability centered on you that heals a moderate amount of health each second to nearby allies over 10 seconds. This is a very good AoE sustained heal, with a decent radius that will go a long way to keeping your allies alive. Two very important notes about this ability. One, this is not a channeled ability, so it cannot be interrupted. And two, because it isn't a channeled ability, you can still cast other spells while using Trank. So make sure you're still trying to hit those roots and keeping the healing going with regrowth. His second heroic is called Twilight Dream. This is a 90 second cooldown AoE ability that after a short delay deals massive damage in a large area around you, silencing enemies for 3 seconds. This also increases your passive mana regen by 1.5. This is a solid damage ability with a very long silence. The only drawback is that you need to get into the thick of the fight to make sure you're hitting as many people with it as possible, potentially putting yourself in mortal danger. Now we've covered his base abilities, let's get into the talents. But before we do, I want to point out that Malfurion has a lot of flexibility with his talent choices, allowing you to modify your build to suit the needs of your team. And those choices start at level 1. Your first choice is Moonburn. This increases Moonfire's damage to non-heroic units like minions and mercenaries by 100%. This is an extremely helpful tool if your team lacks wave clear, allowing you to fill in the gaps as needed. If your team has enough wave clear, or you have a few heroes in your team that are going to run into mana problems, then you can go with Shando's Clarity. This reduces Innervate's cooldown by 10 seconds, which means you can restore that much needed mana more often. Continuing with the theme of choice, at level 4 you have another one. This choice mostly comes down to personal preference. Your first option is Elune's Grace. This increases the range of Regrowth, Moonfire, and Entangling Roots by 30%, which will allow you to support your team from a much safer distance. Your other choice is Rampant Growth. This increases the initial heal of Regrowth by 50%. The extra healing this provides can be the difference between saving an ally's life and being short one in a fight, 
but the healing this talent provides isn't massive, so don't expect it to help versus burst damage. At level 7 you once again have a choice to make. This choice really comes down to the enemy team's composition and what your team needs. If your team just needs some extra healing, then you would go with Enduring Growth. This increases the duration of regrowth by 6 seconds, which means more sustained healing. However, if the enemy team has a lot of stuns, roots, or other CCs, then you will go with Cleanse. This is a 60 second targeted ability that makes an ally unstoppable for 1 second. However, you cannot cast this on yourself. This ability can go a long way to preventing a lot of chain stuns on a target, but can also help stop things like mosh pits if your only stun was caught in it. For Malfurion's Heroic, you're going to go with Tranquility. This is a very good AoE ability that helps keep everyone up and the enemy team cannot stop you without killing you. So with good positioning, the enemy will have to dive deep into your lines to get to you. It is also important to remember that you can cast your other abilities while using Tranquility, so punish those diving enemies with some roots and simply reposition. At level 13, you have a lot of flexibility with your talent choice. If you want more healing, then you can go with Life Seed. This automatically grants a nearby damaged ally hero the heal over time portion of regrowth. This is a great passive heal that adds even more sustained healing to your kit. However, this ability can only happen once every 20 seconds. If the enemy is diving you and your team is a little slow to react, then you can take Ice Block. This is a 60 second cooldown that places you in stasis and grants you invulnerability for 3 seconds. This essentially prevents the enemy from doing anything to you for a short amount of time, and a nice added bonus is, if you already have Tranquility going, when you use your Ice Block, the healing just keeps on ticking, allowing you to put out some solid, safe healing. However, if the enemy has someone who is just causing a lot of problems for your team, then you can go with Shrink Ray. This is a 60 second cooldown that reduces the targeted enemy hero's damage by 50% and movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds. This is a great tool for preventing a lot of damage from a single source or helping your team take down a high value target. At level 16 you once again have a choice to make which mostly comes down to personal preference. If the enemy team isn't jumping on you or you're able to keep your health fairly high then you can go with hardened focus. This makes your basic ability cooldowns regenerate 50% faster while above 80% life. This helps you keep everyone very healthy during long poke engagements, but really won't help you all that much if the enemy is focusing you down. Your other option is Tenacious Roots. Now your entangling roots grow 25% larger, last 25% longer, and roots a target for half a second longer. This is a great boost to your CC, allowing you to zone out larger areas or trap enemies for longer, allowing for more follow-up CCs or damage. Yes, I... At level 20 you have some options, however I'm going to recommend you take Storm Shield. This is a 45 second cooldown that grants all nearby allied heroes a shield for 20% of their maximum health for 3 seconds. This is an extremely powerful tool that shores up a major weakness in Malfurion's kit, allowing him to deal with some burst damage by either preventing some of it or giving his heals a chance to heal his allies up before they fall. Malfurion's support build is a good build that provides very strong sustained healing to him and his allies with okay wave clear and a decent CC with roots. Innervate can go a long way to keeping his allies in the fight by making sure they have mana. He has very flexible talent choices that can fill a variety of needs and Tranquility cannot be interrupted. However, he has no escape, his roots can be difficult to hit until you get the timing of it down, and he suffers against burst comps. Alright, now that we've gone over all of that, let's go over some quick tips for Malfurion. Innervate should almost always be on cooldown. If one of your allies isn't at full mana and your Innervate is off cooldown, then you need to make sure you top them off. Along those lines, it's more beneficial to lane with someone who has a mana bar, so you're taking full advantage of your kit. If the enemy is trying to force you out of a fight so you can't use Trank by applying pressure directly to you or by throwing AoE heroics at you, then pop Trank, throw a regrowth out, and then ice block the damage. This will keep you safe while still pumping out a decent amount of healing. 
Entangling roots can be a little tough to hit because the root effect takes a moment to kick in. So try and place the roots AoE where an enemy will be, or even better yet, try and combo roots with an ally CC. You are not a burst healer, so pay attention to the members of your team that are getting focused so you can plan ahead and preemptively heal them when the team fight starts. Shields of any kind will help minimize burst damage and will give your healing a chance to top people off, so plan ahead and pop Storm Shield when it will have maximum effect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this guide helpful. If you have any variations or tips for this build, feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I will catch you all later.